What's up, legends? We are right back at it again this week, man. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying blessed. I got a special, special video for you guys, man. We're going to be taking an early look at the new Yeezy Foam Runner in the ochre colorway, man. And I got to tell you, I'm really excited to see these, man. So if you have not already, or if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button right now, man. Leave a like on the video and let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, I got to tell y'all, man, this ochre pair, I've been definitely waiting for since we seen the mock-ups. These were supposed to drop on July 24th. But due to a whole lot of complications and everything that was going on with Donda, I felt like these have just been pushed back and it's really just no release date at this point. So I just couldn't wait any longer, man. I had to go ahead and grab these early. Now, of course, you got your regular foam runner box. You pretty much like an inverted Yeezy box. Let's open these up and take a look, man. So as you can see, you got your foam on the inside and down at the bottom, you got the runner. Yeah, yeah. These definitely a big vibe, man. That color is just crazy, man. What y'all think of these, man? Big vibes. These are super hard, man. Such a crazy, unique color. Wow. Now the best explanation or first impression that I can give you of this color is it's just like a very light, tan but a rich tan like it's it's almost gold in the light but then it can give you like a really nice brown contrast as well like this is a unique color it's like it's gold it's tan and it's brown at the same time depending on the lighting it's not much you can say about the phone runner as far as describing it um, i gotta say i really like the solid color ones especially a colorway like this because it's going to be extremely versatile extremely wearable and a lot more durable than the previous ararat colorway or the sand because those kind of get dirty a little quickly especially on the bottom but i feel like these are going to be a lot more durable man and it's going to be just as versatile because of this nice neutral color these pretty much go with anything. You can pretty much wear any color with this foam run, man. So yeah, I'm liking these a lot. Just looking at the shaping, very sleek shape. These are kind of looking a bit more sleek than some of the um, previous releases. The material, I would say, of course, it's not as soft as the Ararat. I would say these kind of feel very similar to the sand colorway. This pair was actually made in the USA. So that is fire, man. Salute the Yay being able to make that happen and mass produce in the US. From what I'm hearing, this is the most produced Yeezy Foam Runner. As far as stock goes, it has the highest stock out of all the releases so far that we've seen. So this is history in the making. As far as sizing, it's kind of tricky because the OG Era Rat, I went to size up and got a 12 in those. Ever since, as far as the Moon Gray, Mineral Blue, and the Cream Clay, I went with an 11 and they fit perfectly. I must say, as far as the fit on these, they're actually a little more snug than the other colorways, in my opinion. Maybe that might be just the USA production or the solid colors that kind of have a bit more of a snug fit. So I would recommend, I mean, if you're in between sizes, you should definitely go up, but I don't think you can go wrong with your true size because even though they do fit a little more snug, they are still extremely comfortable. Like I've told you guys before in previous foam runner reviews, the foam runner is the most comfortable shoe that I've ever put on my foot, man. It's just no beating it. Just as far as fashion, comfort, it's durable, it's wearable, they're functional. You can wear them all day and they're just extremely, extremely comfortable, man. So you gotta love this technology. You gotta love the fact that this is the future of footwear. So if I had to rate these on a easy scale one through ten i'm definitely gonna give these a 10 out of 10 of course man these are fire so you guys let me know what your rating would be on the easy scale one through ten as well in the comments right now i'm gonna give you guys my rankings just as far as the order i would put them in as far as my favorite to least favorite of course all of these are my favorite type of shoes like all i really wear is foam runners 
on my tote blue desert boots these days. I kind of got to force myself to even wear sneakers because when you start wearing foam runners, they're just so comfortable. So it's hard to even take any step back. All the colorways are fire so far. So I want to give you guys my rankings. So number one, I definitely got to go with the OG Era Rat Man as far as all the foam runners go. And I'll kind of loop the sand in with those as well because as you can see it's a two very similar colorways um as far as the sand and the air rat so we're gonna put the sand and the air rat as number one the air rat as far as the comfort and the material extremely soft and comfortable number two man already we're going with the ochre man for every reason why the air wrap was number one, that's why the ochre is number two. Just that nice, solid, neutral color. And these are actually a little more wearable than the air wrap and more durable as well. Number three and number four are like 3A and 3B for me, but I gotta go with the MX Cream Clay number three, man. This nice off-white tone that you got the brown chocolate at the bottom mixed with that nice gray color and even that contrast of white, man. These are crazy. They go with so much. And you could barely see how warm at this point because of the color on the bottom. So number four, I'm going with the mineral blue colorway, man. These are so fire. Like, I can't believe that I slept on these before they came out. I'm so glad I changed my mind and got them. As well, extremely durable, extremely versatile and wearable. It's almost like a black foam runner, even though it's really blue in the light. And you got that MX blue going through. So yeah, these are crazy, man, I love these. Even though it's number five and at the end of the list, these are still fire in the top tier elite Yeezy. We're gonna go with the MXT Moon Gray number five. I'm in love with these as well. As far as the wear, you can see it a little bit more because of that off-white cream color, but it's still very, very durable, man. Now, of course, tomorrow we got a huge release happening, man. We got the return of the Yeezy Slides dropping in one new colorway and we're gonna get two restocks of previous releases like we talked about last week the glow green is gonna be dropping in full family sizing man those are looking crazy along with the suit and pure colorway make sure that you guys go over to the adidas confirmed app and join every raffle i feel like that's the best chance i've seen people win multiple colorways multiple pairs on the confirmed app and then as far as Yeezy Supply goes, of course, it's been very, very hard and the demand is very high. And it seemed like the bots kind of eat on Yeezy Supply. So, man, I'm wishing everybody a big, big W and good luck on the release. Make sure you follow my bro, Influence Visions, on Instagram, man. He's going to keep you tapped in with all the raffles as far as retail supplies go. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it on this one, man. I thank you guys very, very much for taking the time to watch the video. If you have not already, man, Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I would truly appreciate it, man. Hit the like button as well if you like the video. Also, man, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about my rankings um, with all the phone runners. Let me know what your rating would be on the Yeezy scale from one through 10 for the Yeezy phone runner ochre. And let me know how you guys would rank your phone runners one through five as far as what we've seen so far. Make sure you tune into the Easy Talk podcast every single Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Salute to my bros, man. J.A., Prince Mark Anthony, St. Kansas, my bro Yeezy Influence, always pulling up with exclusive Yeezy info every single week. And salute to my bro Yeezy Renders as well. I gotta shout out the best chat in the game, the most lit chat in the game, and of course, man, the realest chat in the game. Salute to the YTP chat. Of course, man, I gotta thank everybody that's been rocking with me so far up to this point, man. I could not do it without you, and I cannot thank you enough. And I catch you guys on the next one, man. Salute to you, legends.